chicken meat. Hello? What the hell is that? and welcome to take it to the max show with myself grandmaster max loogie and we'll be playing in the five minute i'll be playing the five minute pool today as as usual and commenting on the games uh as they happen as much as i can sometimes i'm playing some really really strong players so it's actually quite difficult because they're posing some tough problems uh congratulations to nurse and Ner kiev okay and we are off uh, in the first game, Harmony. Harmony is here. I am Harmony. Okay. And we're playing the Queen Zingian type. Uh, oh, that's a. Psh, I don't know what to say about that. That's just a. I don't know. Can't really. I don't know how the, the take back would work here. I think that's just a. Psh, a, a mouse lip. I haven't gotten those small slips back when I'm playing on this show, so I guess I'll have to just accept that pawn as a bit of a gift. Um, happens. Last time I had my... Yeah, I understand. I don't understand. I can't really do anything about that because it's hard to actually uh, move things around. If I start moving things around, my whole board will go away and you guys won't see anything. So. I even though Harmony is saying mouse, I can't really even respond to that question to that chat window because I don't have that open and if I start opening it up it will be a problem. So I don't know if he'll just resign or what he'll do. Unfortunately this is the situation we have. Um, I don't know. Awkward. A bit awkward. Um, maybe we can talk about the the uh, morals and etiquette of of uh, mouse slips and uh, such things. Well, okay. My opponent decided to move after all. So I'm going to just play a pawn up. And obviously that means that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the favorite here. And okay, this is a bit of a weakening too. And I'm just a pawn up. And, um, you know, I, I won a game against Grishuk in, in a three minute game that started uh, uh, even worse than this. Um, e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, and then I touched my c pawn and it moved to. Uh, um, it actually moved to. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm actually thinking about. Queen b3, bishop knight d5. Should I do that? Probably not. Let's move my bishop. And uh, I had to give up the. Um, actually, had to give up the uh, pawn on c4. So that was. Uh, he just took it and I still won the game. So, you know, it's. Uh, it's one of those things. Okay, kind of opening up the his king a bit, I would say. Okay, let's open up the queen. Let's check it here. Yeah, and maybe time to castle, what do you think? <sighs> okay, take that one. And checkmate on f7. Okay, not the best game for either my opponent or myself, but <coughs> you know that's what happens sometimes when you do those mouse clicks, and then sometimes you you win those games. I, I won a game against Luke Van Belly, d4, d5, c4, and I did a smart move with my king. I touched my king, and it actually went to d7. That was not pretty sight. After c takes d5 in this position, I played king d7, c takes d5, and I won that game. And as I said, I won against Grishuk. So really, uh, when we, when we have situations like that, um, we just accept them. I try to play uh, symmetrically. If my opponent offers me a take back, I will offer him a take back. But uh, it has to be a bit symmetrical, I think. 
it's the only way to really play it otherwise you feel a little bit silly okay now okay now what should I play maybe now is a good time to play queen e7 to attack the pawn on e4 bishop c4 is common uh, the uh, capture on e4 would be actually very da dangerous in that case um, so I'd have to wait yeah but uh, otherwise okay now bishop g5 has been played against me by Alexander Halifman for example yes and here it is <laughs> bishop g5 but now queen c5 should equalize I'm attacking both bishops and white can only deal with one so this is a still pretty much I've played this in tournaments Halifman just took an f6 and offered a draw and the game ended uh, and uh, I guess he didn't think there was much here for white um, my old coach Vitaly Zoltzman actually continued playing well this move is interesting what happens on 94 that would be a bit of a double attack wouldn't it okay I'm gonna try it because I don't see exactly what white has in mind I always try to look for the sharpest move first that is what uh, creates uh, chances so this actually attacks still continues to attack both bishops and I actually don't see a way for white to save himself at this point a bit uh, presumptuous this e5 move I guess white assumed I would take the pawn on e5 but even then would be quite fine because after f4 I would have queen e3 check and on knight of 3 I could go back to c5 so nothing much would really be changed except white gave up a central pawn so this of course is much more dangerous for white but such is such is the way it is slowly getting my rating back to 2600 maybe it would be good prior to the prior to the uh, ICC championship to have the rating a little bit higher I don't know and now I thought h6 was just fine although well, queen e5 is also fine because on okay queen no that would not be fine that would be really bad actually okay did you see that if uh, queen e5 bishop takes h7 and uh, yeah, here I have knight e6 or even knight h7 um, knight e6 knight f5 yeah maybe queen c3 is a good move knight e6 knight f5 knight f4 knight takes h6 gh hmm no I got I, I think a good a good a good move is knight h7 just to tuck in that knight and defend the king a bit and keep that bishop on c8 in, the, in good defensive mode now queen c3 I thought would be good a good continuation I almost my queen almost left to c4 I mean so it's very close you can really do these mouse slips very easily um, and then that, that's it that's that's life you know okay now knight c6 is what I thought to bring out some pieces and also hit some targets while I'm at it yeah, slow slow does it slow does it but get the pieces out is very important okay knight c6 now I can take that one for sure although queen e5 at this point is also quite quite plausible because uh, knight h6 gh there's nothing really there queen e5 knight h6 gh looks quite promising actually I'm gonna take another pawn <coughs> although doing it the other way around is also winning I think bishop f5 queen f5 
yeah white doesn't really have much choice he has to continue attacking but after queen g7 I'm up two pieces and I'm bringing them in to where that counts okay. okay that's interesting because now knight takes bishop rook takes bishop and we're actually getting a little bit of play here from white okay so let me try to create some mating threats using my extra pieces I don't want to let white have any initiative who knows what that will mean so creating a mating threat when you're up material is very nice okay now let's bring in some heavy artil artillery the rook is coming to e8 so these rooks can't really lift themselves now I was thinking knight g6 to exchange some rooks you can see my king is very safe here yeah? plus I'm definitely exchanging some pieces here okay and now just back just back no real attack from white right and now queen e5 is possible why not come out a little bit right create a little bit of a weakness on e3 and then maybe make another move the knight f6 to bring another piece into the into the as more pieces are appearing next to white's king the mate will be more more reasonable to expect here some sort of a mating attack now let's see if this rook can actually stay anywhere active anywhere that it will or it will have to retreat oh I did win okay well there it is so that was the the end of that okay I mean not much really going on here because white in a very well known well reasonably well known let's see very well known to me position um, this which I've had in tournaments uh, at least twice or maybe three times instead of taking the knight on f6 uh, followed by let's say bishop g5 I went and just uh, blundered with e5 and of course there's no n not there's nothing that says that you have to take so of course I didn't take because that's not the best move the best move was to use the knight that's attacked to attack another piece and after I attacked the bishop it was pretty much uh, game over so uh, getting my rating a little closer to 2600 uh, uh, as we're trying to get um, some more players on the road here okay what's going on to the, uh, right now in chess is the Shamkir um, uh, super tournament in mem memorial for uh, a wonderful uh, person and a great chess player Vugar Kashimov who died so early um, and uh, who I had the uh, privilege of playing actually at uh, I guess uh, pre preliminary uh, World Chess Championship Blitz event in Moscow uh, we split our match then but I was completely amazed how easily he got a winning position against me with black in on the black side of a Benoni, Benoni which I considered myself to be a good expert on and uh, then after that uh, he actually got a, uh, still a, a very good position as white as well uh, I believe in the white side of the Queen's Gamut accepted maybe a very similar line to what we, I just played but there uh, I managed to trick him and win the game I remember I trapped his piece which was a bit a bit uh, sudden and uh, unexpected okay we're up against chess fever 2016 uh, and let's play the London okay the London is on let's, see, let's continue moving our pieces out and okay here actually maybe I should play something else but okay I'm gonna play Bishop g3 C4. Mm, 
C3. Aha, nice move by by black. Let me try to stop this ideas of knight b4. Knight e4, okay. Now this is a bit of a okay, I'm gonna take on d5 or should I take on this I'll take on d5. Aha, now of knight d5, okay, but what of bishop h4 first? Right, okay, now I take. And I'm just gonna go for the c4 idea now. Uh, okay, uh, I have to check if there's uh, something going on on the e file. I don't think so. So I think I can play c4. Oh, he's coming for me somehow. But now maybe I can play c5. Get rid of that bad bishop. Maybe even not. Well, let me take it. And just. Let's see, knight d2 is possible. Just develop. Get the king out of there. I have a nice pawn structure. So if uh, if I manage to uh, finish development without any loss of uh, opportunity, I should be doing well. Because I'll start attacking the C pawn. So I'll attack the B pawn and then eventually the C pawn will be attacked. So let me start with the B pawn here. Here it is. My first official attack. Now I will attack the well actually knight d2 knight d4 that's a nice little trick so let me support that d pawn and also think about bishop d3 okay and now well it's a good idea what to do let's first add the rook here to c1 so that would kind of divert black from playing b6 at some point and probably just h3. Bishop h3 take and uh, yeah, knight g5, right? So bishop h3 isn't possible, knight g5 always, so that's a reasonable move. Okay, now I can maybe improve my position a bit. Okay, it looks like this bishop is actually quite strong. Let me get rid of it. I'm a little bit worried about this bishop. If black sacrifices now, okay, this is good because I can force that exchange now take with the queen and I think I should trade the knights that will make it a very simple ending to look at and maybe easy easy to understand as well oh sorry oh my god a blunder well that's what happens when you go thinking about too far-fetched Issues you just blunder pieces. Okay, this is not good obviously and now I'm lost Okay, now let's see how I can survive this position Down a full exchange. Okay, first of all, let's look for the good square for the knight. Let's bring it back in I'm gonna have to stop black from playing b6 as much as possible So I'm gonna play queen a4 Hopefully stopping b6 for now and then maybe later too. Okay, some weaknesses in black's position. Now, if I play c6 and black plays b5 and I take, that's not bad, right? And if he plays b6, I take and then queen b5, knight d2. Hard to say. Um, hard to say. Okay, but it's definitely going to complicate things, so I'm going to do it. I need a little bit of complication here. I don't want to just die die in this position. Okay, now if I take on a6, queen b7, queen e7, that would be bad. So that would be just silly, right?
Huh. Okay, let me take this. Ah, oh, he does this immediately. Now on queen d3. Okay. I understand the idea. It's a cool, cool little move, improving the, forcing my king into bad spot so he can check me. That's a nice idea. But what can I say? I can't do anything about that. Let's attack this one. Hopefully, something will happen one day. I'm also out of time a bit. <coughs> Not a very happy position, obviously, but what can I say? Nothing to do, okay. And white is black is playing very actively. As well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably now I can try to maybe make my knight move into some reasonable position like f4. Okay, we'll maybe block this pawn here with knight d3. But obviously it's a really tough call here to survive this. F5. Well, well, there's nothing I can do. I have to just keep keep trying. Keep trying. Okay, this is the only way I see of continuing this. There's nothing really else I can try. Oh, oh! I didn't see this move. I thought I. Okay, well, I give up. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. I actually thought <laughs> 96 just gives the um, gives me the piece back. But okay, what did I do wrong here? I don't think I did much wrong around here, and I think I'm slightly better. Well, slightly, or maybe quite a bit better here. Uh, and then, of course, when we got to this position, I got a little bit. I just forgot that Black is threatening Knight B2. Otherwise, I would have played Rook B1 first followed by knight d2 and then imagine I did that then I could triple on the b file and force black to start making concessions and probably going forward I would win the, one of the pawns on the queen side and would be winning in fact so this was a bit sad that I just blundered and then black played quite well um, now maybe I could have refrained from playing c6 but really, eventually, somehow, black will try to get um, something going. Um, and it's hard to actually make moves, because black can slowly play h5, g5, g4, for example, and try to suffocate me on the king side. So I played c6, trying to create some sort of an issue here. And black played queen c2. I expected rook a8. And now, of course, I could defend the pawn with queen d3, forcing the exchange. But I think black just goes down the a-file with doubling on with the rooks there and I, th I am pretty much lost I think so I, I decided to keep my rook and try to create some chances uh, by by weakening black's position and this of course was played very well by black here who first stopped my knight going to f4 and then opened up the position with this excellent move uh, f5 and now I actually thought e6 is somehow hanging and, and, and just assumed queen d4 well, by 96 and maybe I can survive that ending somehow although of course doesn't look very good but uh, okay maybe uh, I can get a revenge against the chest fever here let's try something sharp so I can I can get revenge with the king's Indian better chance than with the queen's gambit except I think although who knows Okay, so we're in the King's Indian, Bishop G5. Okay, let's see. 
when bishop g5 why shouldn't I play c5 then and h6 if I get that extra tempo h6 probably c5 is okay I'm gonna try that okay then I'm gonna get another tempo knight g4 maybe one day so I'm gonna open up the position as much as possible especially since I'm going for, for a revenge against my opponent okay he has to decide how to take takes this way okay okay now I can bring my knight out with the tempo as well knight b4 is a move that has to be stopped okay now hmm maybe just knight c7 to play b5 as quickly as possible before white really gets his position in order yeah i'm gonna play b5 for sure okay now i can play c4 now I can just solidify what I have acquired here. Now I can play b4. I think I'm going to solidify. I think that's going to be my decision. But should I do it with a6? Maybe a6. For now. Interesting. What to do? c4. The knight is going to d4. I'm a little bit uh, happy about that. Okay, I'm going to play e6 for now. Keep my advantages. Uh -huh. Very provocative, this move. Knight e4 at some point doesn't win, huh? Okay. Okay, rookie one. And I thought I'm gonna just play b4 here and come and take with the rook. Okay. Okay, let's see now. How can I improve my position now? Maybe t time to improve my knight and kind of pin that knight as well because otherwise I don't know what's going on. An interesting fight here. Maybe I'm not m playing it as well as I should, but I don't know. It's complicated. Okay, now my rook should probably go. It's done enough. Rook a1. Okay, I don't know who's why is all that doubling going on there, but let me move my knights into a good position. Okay, take that one. Strong bishop. Okay, now what? <coughs> Let's see what now. Maybe I should just take control of that diagonal for for real. Queen f6. That way I can maybe play knight e5 at some point. Rook a7. Yeah, a bit. Unclear what that what that does. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna exchange knights. 
another move is queen b2 but I don't want to lose the h1 on f4 though I could play queen b2 at some point okay this one is interesting because I can actually take c4 takes takes bishop c4 hmm interesting stuff okay I'm gonna take I'm gonna take and see where that takes me. Maybe it's not so dangerous. Okay. Let's defend this one. By that I mean the H one, which could have been taken by the way, I don't know why why it neglected it, but Okay, now I think I can just play bishop f8. I don't know, rook c queen c6. <sighs> Maybe I should give myself a little room to maneuver here. c4 and take. And here. A little maneuvering action, a little maneuvering room here. Ay, yay, 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 yay. Okay, let's attack this guy. Okay, maybe now let's attack. Hmm. Let's defend this guy. Bishop b5, queen takes. Hmm. Hmm. Damn! No time to really think this is a problem. No time to think here. Uh huh. And now this move, okay. <coughs> Damn, 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 damn. Yeah. Okay, now he's pre, pre moving or doing something really bad to me anyway. Looks like I'm gonna lose this game. Okay, well, I'm gonna take that one at least. Oh. I missed Queen A check. Yep. Wow, chest fever. He's got me again. Very amazing guy. Played very well. And uh, my chances of getting to 2600 are ruined very quickly. Okay, well, at least let me think Kedder while I'm at it. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I have no idea. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna block the queen side and just play in the queen king side. Hopefully, my bishop will be more important. <coughs> interesting concept I'm not very happy with my performance as black here against chess fever who got me too now I don't think anyone's done that before that's pretty cool okay well let me start showing my teeth a little bit okay Yeah, well, let's 
not use the bishop too far. I mean, I'm going to use that bishop later. That's why I don't want to use it to defend. But this knight is there temporarily, so it's not a big deal. I like black. I think eventually I can build up an attack on the king side here. All right. I'm basically playing for f6. F6 and then G5. <laughs> Maybe it's time to do it now. F6 and G5. Okay, now. <sighs> Tough position. I think in the previous game what happened was I spent just too much time figuring things out and when I got to tactics it became more difficult. But definitely chess fever is playing very well. So let's see. Now I wanted to just bring the rook now to play on the E file. Okay. One more hit and white's in trouble, right? GH Bishop G What about F four? Four looks good, let's do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright, let's bring in the troops. Except I don't know which ones. Queen a2, bishop g4, or what? Or even f3. Bishop g4, king. Let's bring the bishop and then move the king away. It's probably a good idea. Uh, f5, e5, knight e4, take, take. Okay, now let's move the king away to kind of do some stuff on the G file ourselves. My skin looks a little bit more dangerous in danger than mine. Okay, Queen A2 we kind of stopped in a way. Although I can still play Knight C4. That's what I'm gonna do. tough position again today is a tough day tough day at the office guys making my life tough now if knight c4 queen c4 c pawn is hanging rook c2 rook c1 are possible but uh, I don't know maybe I can break through somehow yeah that's what's gonna happen it looks like maybe I, on the g file like rook g7 or rather rook g8 because I need my bishop too to kind of get out of there Okay, I'm going to play my rooks to g8 and then g7. Try to break through on the g file. Well, I'm 
Well, you know, I it's a pawn I can win, the h pawn I can win. And then I don't know what's going to happen. Probably I'm doing well, but if I keep the queens. I think I I like the idea of having my pawn on c4 in fact. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and should I play f3? I just grab this, just grab it, right? <coughs> yeah, now, um, well, a lot of good moves. Maybe f3, maybe rook f2. No. Rook a7, knight b6, rook takes, knight takes, check, then f3, and I'm going to play f3 first. Uh huh. It's an interesting way of playing this. Wow. Okay, now I just play bishop e3. Yeah. No one's quite queening yet. Oh god, this is bad. Ay! This is bad. Move my king. I've never seen anything like this. Wow. Oh God. Oh God, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Okay, stop this guy. Check and stop. Okay, this is winning, as you can well imagine. <laughs> <coughs> that was a tough game again. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, next one. Again, again a tough competitor. 2480. Wow, everyone is tough today. No easy, no easy games. And this is a Grunfeld of sorts. Bishop h6, nice, okay. If people play to the sides, I'm playing in the center. That's a simple rule of, of logic. Anyone plays on the sides, I go into the center immediately. Now, can I make use of this now? Not, I don't know. I don't see it. So just develop, I think. Wow, this guy just wants to do knight f7. Okay, let's attack the d5 pawn. And let's try to... Well, let's try to cancel first. On knight f7 I can play e4. <laughs> I 
Now take now. Well, on E D I have E four with some pressure, and this side was gonna go the opposite way <coughs> to go for the C seven weakness. Knight C seven is a big threat, threatening the rook and the pawn on E six. Yeah, the problem with this was the check that I thought would be kind of cool. Okay, finally Black gets his wish. Okay, I can just take uh, my time. Play Bishop G3 for now. I don't have to... Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Now Knight D6, then of course Knight B6, so probably just retreat. Up a pawn, not bad for an opening. Um, yeah, should I exchange? I think so. Why wouldn't I exchange? It's an extra pawn, right? Okay, now the bishop's trying to get to h3. <coughs> to, I mean, to g4. So I should probably get out of that pin. So I can my deep one can. Max, mm -hmm. the stream is down. I don't know why. It is like you stop streaming. Oh really? That's really bad. Okay, you are you are back. You are back. Oh, back. Okay. All right. It seems we had some technical issues for a second, but I'm back. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What are the issues here? The bishop. Rook c1, I'm calculating some lines. b3, rook c, take, take, take. Yes, and this is good. So I had to calculate the long line here. Rook c1, rook c1, bishop a2, b3, threatening to win the bishop. And on rook c8, I play takes and knight c3, winning the bishop after all. <coughs> so once I manage to calculate that forced line, I can afford to take control of the c2 square, my rook. Black cannot win the a pawn. He will lose the bishop on a2. He re recognized this. Good for him. Let's attack that rook. Aha. Uh -huh. A nice pin on that bishop now. Let's pin this knight too. Get that bishop a little bit more involved in the game okay no 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 uh, actually wait knight g5 isn't actually stopped with this move oh wait knight g5 there's knight d2 okay so i have it is stopped uh yeah i'm gonna go here i'm threatening bishop h4 i think now i'm not even sure about my threats i had a threat then it turned out to be nothing okay now mm, Probably, okay, rook c2 I can't play. Uh, wow, this is, this was actually tough. Uh, well, I'm gonna play knight g5 after all, okay? There's no reason not to. On rook d2 I take on f7. So he has to play bishop d5, I think. And then we at least we change a lot of pieces, and I still put my knight on e4, which is exactly what I want to do. Okay. Let's put my knight on e4. I don't mind about the double b pawns in fact it's kind of nice my rook is now breathing a bit more um okay let's get the king out of that back rank situation okay well let's improve the bishop maybe bishop e1 
okay rook a5 then rook knight c6 yeah um Okay, I'm just gonna play rook c2. For now. <sighs> okay, let's play this move h4 to improve the position a little bit. Okay, take the bishop and play bishop h4. Okay. Now let's attack the h pawn. See who is who is the big defender of that pawn. Mm, that's unfortunate. Hmm. <laughs> I wanted to take the knight a bit. Now I can't do that. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna retreat my bishop to f2. Let's see how he defends the h. Okay, now I'm gonna play e4. Take that one and defend this one. Okay, now let's... Oh, God, this is not so easy at all, huh? Let's exchange rooks. Oops. Oh, God, this is not good at all. Really misplayed it, huh? Really misplayed it. Okay, let's improve my rook. for my work a little bit more oh god okay I'm just gonna go for it that's it I'm just gonna go for it this is crazy but I'm just gonna go for it Oh god. What? I won on time? I didn't even notice that. I didn't have, I had no idea I was actually but this is a really bad position after Queen <laughs> takes rook takes pawn, I can resign. I had no idea my pawn was so short on time, but of course I misplayed this horribly, just horrendously. Um I don't know where to start, how I misplayed it, but somewhere around here, uh, I mean, I could have played this <coughs> h4 move earlier, and, and this was a good catch by my opponent, but anyway, we'll get to that some other time. Meanwhile, let's play uh, a little bit differently here against the King's Indian or the Grunfeld, whatever black decides is his weapon of choice okay so chest fever has got my number huh all right I'm gonna play this line and see what black does the exchange variation against my German friend All right, and now this Ulf Anderson sideline of the exchange variation. Trying to just play an ending here. Um, yes, let's go 91. And let's protect the pawn. Let's defend the d4 square. Again and again. Okay, white's playing smart. I'm 
not I'm just taking it easy for now this has all been played against me before sure let's exchange of course of course of course let's get the king back up my plan is to slowly advance the queen side that's all uh, and uh, take the d file as well yeah, here it is my d my d my a pawn advanced Okay, now if I play b4, take, 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 knight a4, take, take, and then rook a1, yeah, I have a little bit of something, yeah? Let's do it. Yeah, let's exchange these guys. And the knight will go to b3 and then hopefully a5. That's my plan. A little bit uncomfortable for black. Not extremely so, but a little bit. That's the idea. Slight discomfort in blitz can grow into something really big. Here I'm going king c3 that's just to save the rooks like the whales we want to save them so on rook d8 we're going to go rook a2 to keep those rooks okay on this we just play knight b3 as per our plan and still going to a5 okay good that stopped it that stopped me cold now time to grow on the other side a little bit f4 and blah 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 what else we can do Okay, on f4 there's going to be knight d6, right? Which is going to happen in any case. So that's actually not so good for me. Mm -hmm. So actually now, maybe it's time to exchange the rooks. Let me go before it gets unpleasant. Don't want it to get unpleasant all of a sudden. f5, okay, that I'm going to take. And I'm going to, okay, now I'm going to think about this, because now g4 is a possibility to create an outside pass pawn of some sort. No, I'm going to exchange rooks first, still. Do all that without the, without the rooks. Then I'm safe. Safety first in blitz, if you can do it, if you can get it. Okay, here comes my knight. B3 was possible, but then I can play C5. And now, knight E3. Knight is closing in. Black has a little bit of a target with the f5 pawn so i'm gonna try to make it seem like something okay, and i'm gonna play g4 if i can get an outside pass pawn then maybe i can have a chance here take okay now let's walk in with the king uh-huh he goes okay so what do we do what do we do what do we do Let's move the bishop in. And defend. I don't know. I'm not sure this is really progress from white. Uh, okay. Let's defend with the king. <coughs> For now. Mm -hmm. And now let's see where the bishop belongs. Probably belongs here. Uh huh. Now I 
IG1, not so good, huh? B5. Okay, let's move the knight into d4, hopefully. Take. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, let's make a prophylactic move of sorts. Bishop f1, maybe. Before block attacks my h1. Thinking about knight a1, but I can't make it work. Yeah. All right, let's try it anyway. A little bit sickening, but let's try it. Get my opponent to think at least while we're at it, right? Thirty-five seconds is not so much time. Thinking could be quite serious. Okay, now let's pin that king to the pawn. Okay, h4, finally. Finally we can move our h1. h5 or g5? h5. God. h5, g, h, g, uh, bishop h7, g5, take the, oh. Okay, how do I flag this guy? I'm gonna, it's time to flag, right? So I'm gonna have to do something funny. Let's go knight d2 first. Okay, now it's playing fast. Okay, can't lose this at least. That's a good sign. Of course, everything's possible, but. Oops. Four seconds, and that's not much time. Hmm. Well, I don't know. If you can make it, you can make it. If not, then not. Check to you, and you win. Yeah, I win. Okay. <coughs> that was a tough show. I lost twice to Chess Fear, but won the rest. Um, hopefully, next time I will make some progress in my rating. This time, I think it stayed about the same. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, sorry for the slight streaming interruption there. And uh, as you can see, time is an important factor. In fact, uh, when I spend too much time with chess fever, that's how I kind of lost a uh, pretty complicated position. Um, anyway, till next week, and uh, happy Memorial Day. Uh, enjoy the weather and the uh, barbecues and the pools, hopefully. Um, and take care. Till next week. This is Grandmaster Max Lugie. All the best to you. Bye-bye.